if I had learned something that was important, that was possibly life-changing, that could save lives, and I didn't pass it on, what kind of person would I be? There's a scripture even about this. James 4, 17 says, Therefore to him that knoweth to do good, and doeth it not, to him it is sin. Does this apply? What if it does? So if I learned something, and I'll just tell you, I'm going to put the link in the description. I want you to check it out. Um, There is a woman, Australian woman, named Dr. Barbara O'Neill who will tell you the truth. I happened on a video of hers that was about the South Pacific Islanders, how healthy they were, how they were using coconut oil, how their lifestyle was a certain way, until the white men came in, bringing much good, but also bringing bad. The bad being their diet their foods. They brought in five lethal, like lethal will kill you white food products, white foods. Now, these white, five white lethal foods are so common that you probably eat all of them every single day. You might not. I hope you don't. But what if this is true? Then I'm getting it out there to you. And you then know. And you can make up your own mind. You do your own research. And you make your own decision. These five things are this. White refined sugar. White refined salt. White refined flour. White refined milk. And white refined flour. Did I just wipe out your whole diet? I know, right? Now, look at this. I don't eat a lot of packaged foods, but I happened on this little gem, which is delicioso. Um, And it's not even an American product, so it's probably actually healthy for you, except for what I'm fixing to tell you. Signorico. This is rice pudding. So, not being an American product, this is a Mexican product. It's probably like way, way better for you than anything you will purchase, sorry, in America. No artificial preservatives, no artificial flavors, no artificial dyes. It's like the real deal. But listen to this. The ingredients. Whole milk. Sugar, rice, cream, it's a double whammy, flour, cinnamon, salt, contains milk. All five lethal whites in one snack. And again, this is delicioso. But is it delicioso if it kills me? If it's lethal, if it's doing damage, if it's causing diabetes later, heart disease, um, all these things that Americans are plagued with, these diseases that is because of how we're eating, because this is designed a certain way, and that particular way, let me just tell you real quick, because there's a scripture on that too. When the body was designed, the creator had a design. He had a plan. He had instructions. All right, and those particular instructions are this. And God said, Behold, I have given you every herb bearing seed, which is upon the face of all the earth, and every tree in which is the fruit of a tree yielding seed to you, it shall be for meat. There's the blueprints for healthy eating. Sure, you can put other things in your body. Will it operate and work properly like it was created to do? No. No, it won't. 
It just won't. So, you now have the knowledge. What will you do with it? Okay? One additional question. If you're eating something bad, like this, because there's goodness on the top, do you eat it down one side? Or do you just go from the top and go straight in? Just curious. Point is, don't eat the five lethal whites. Nothing against this product because I brought it up because it's one of my absolute favorites. But should it be? <laughs>